Mine boss Fred Lewis is struggling to figure out how things have gone so wrong. With just weeks left of the season, he's only pulled in 118 ounces, well short of his 500 ounce gold. Winter is coming way faster than we had hoped, and uh, we're in a crunch for time. It's just not going as planned. In order to make this work, we're going to have to push every second of every day. We've got to get enough gold to at least pay for all these bills to keep us going next season and to pad the guy's pockets. Because no one's going to come back if they're not getting gold. To make his season a success, Fred needs at least 60 ounces of gold a week. But plagued by faulty equipment and shutdowns, he's averaging just 15. In a desperate bid to up his gold, he's calling in a favor from one of the Klondike's big guns. I just got a call from Parker. He's passing by our mine site on his way to his Alaska claims. I asked him to come and check out the operation. So I've been splitting my time between the Yukon and Alaska, more in Alaska than here. The traveling is getting to me. You know, I've been back and forth like a yo-yo. Here in Alaska, we've sunk a lot of money into it, and I don't know how I feel about it. The ground is difficult. I'm just having a lot of problems. Fred's mine site here is just on the way between Fairbanks and Dawson, and he asked me to pop in and said he needed some advice on something. Good to see what he needs and see what's going on. Last time I saw him, he pretty much told me to go myself. But it's always good to get a guy like that's opinion. He, he knows a lot about mining. And uh, you never know what he can see. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good to see you. Glad you came in. Well, this is it, man. Like the big thing for us right now is we're kind of chasing this quartz vein. It's funny, actually. From Papua New Guinea, remember how we saw him pounding with the pipe and the... Uh-huh. I actually built one of those to test the quartz, because I was like, I'm not going to chase quartz if there's no gold in it. And there were some flakes. Huh. Gold seems to be better on that line. Off to the sides, it's kind of like, eh, 0.5, 0 0.4. The biggest we've what had... What do you mean, 0.5 or 0.5? 0.5 ounces per 100, half oh. an ounce 100. So what, are, what do you need help with? What's, the, what, what's your issue? Biggest thing is my wash plant. If we don't feed it exactly right, it doesn't work right. And I don't what know do if you it's, mean it doesn't like If they work overfeed right. the wash plant half a scoop. What happens? It overflows the, the sluice boxes right away. So we're just stuck basically feeding one bucket every two minutes. So what is that, like a one and a half yard bucket? Two. Well, it's supposed to be a two and we're barely getting any gold at all on the bottoms. Hmm. If you're gonna pull the rock like that out of your sluice box, like you've got a tiny little flake of gold fighting a rock that size. Okay. Nothing's coming off your top deck. There's no point to having it, really, is there? Well, depends. There's huge gaps. That gap right there, yeah. Screen keeps sliding down. We even tried welding them together. They keep breaking. Big part broke off right here. How long have you been running like this? The whole all, season. All year. We're in scramble mode now. Just trying to make it last the rest of the season. Did you only get one set of screens? Yeah. For the whole season? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a up, Fred. Well, I'm learning now. That's, that's why you're here. I, I, you know, I didn't think it would wear out this fast. We've gone through a hundred grand worth of screens this summer. Whew. Okay. Three weeks ago. It's got a lot of large material going down the sluice run. Parker's crew discovered the same problem on their plant, Big Red. You know, we've got a bad screen here. Normally, shaker deck screens separate large rocks from the finer, gold-rich material. 
but when worn away through months of running, the large rocks fall down into the sluice runs, where they block the flow of water, preventing the riffles from catching gold and sending it off the end of the sluice runs. Now Fred's plant is losing gold too. You think it's worth looking for new screens this late in the season? No, you won't get them in time. I'm trying to think of what you can do now. We don't have anything that'll fit. I honestly didn't know. I didn't know screens were out that fast. I, I don't know why I didn't know it, but I didn't. I need to look into finding a way to get new screens. I'd like to get a chance to come out and visit you, but I don't think I, I don't think I can leave. Yeah, no, <laughs> you don't have time for that. <laughs> You're very busy. All right, I gotta run. Yeah, dude, thanks for coming, man. Yeah, no worries. Really nice seeing you. Take care. You too. It's really, really easy to go and pick apart somebody's operation. Um, you know, there was some points in the last couple months where if you showed up in Fairbanks at our mine site, you could be like, holy shit, these guys have no clue what they're doing. He's out here trying to do it. I guess that's worth something. But anyways, like your whole season revolves around your plant, right? Like, you've got to take care of it. And that's, like, they haven't taken care of their plant. Fred's going to be in a tough spot for the rest of the year. You know, it's, it's hard as a gold miner hearing from another gold miner that you're up. But at the same time, if you don't learn from those mistakes and fix them, you're always going to be a gold miner. The screens are and absolutely ridiculous. It's something we've got to fix. Shut it down. Fred can't afford to keep running with the wash plant losing gold. So once again, shuts down. Buzz! Yeah. You just missed Parker. He was talking about the plant and showing me the problems. He said our screen's yeah. And that's what's causing us pretty much all the problems. Buzz Legault built Sergeant Sluice with Fred in his yard at the start of the season. Hell yeah, I got a piece of room in my home, man. Kind of rough, wore out, bent up. That's what hopefully they'll do. OK. But if we can get those screens working, probably bump the yardage up. Let's get it fixed. Let's get the plant running. 